Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another rare plant haul. Help me. So, I am happy to report that my plant buying has somewhat slowed down. I think this is just largely due to having to do a lot of other things, both work related and at home. So I haven't actually had time to even browse for plants online. That said, I have managed to pick up one or two things recently that I'm really, really excited about. So I will be showing you three plants today. I know I usually show you guys a few more than that. However, I do think these guys make up for that fact. One thing I would like to say before I start this haul, I will leave links in the description to where I got these plants, but I think you guys already know where I've got these plants from. So that said, let's start the haul. I'm going to start with this one. It's a bit large. The first plant that I have to show you guys that I have hauled is the... Don't know if I can show you this very well. I will do my best. I can't even see what's going on the viewfinder there. This is the variegated philodendron moonlight. Now you may have noticed this plant in the front of the frame here. This is a philodendron moonlight. I will show you this first. Obviously it is significantly smaller than this one. But I will just show you up close this first. I can't tell if that's going to focus. Easy. I really hope that is focusing. I don't know what goes on with my camera nowadays, but that is the Philodendron Moonlight. Very, very chunky stems and kind of very bright green in appearance, but I would honestly say, as I've said this in my house plan tour, they are more neon green in appearance on occasion. Just kind of depends. When a new leaf grows through, it is definitely like neon green. And then it kind of fades down to a generally bright green. Like that is much, much brighter than, don't think you can see it, but my fern here, you can see that that is brighter. So that is the regular philodendron moonlight. And if I just pop him back down there, I will show you the variegated version, the best that I can. I will probably try and show you this. I hope that's focusing. Cause you know what, to me, it doesn't look like it is. It's really, really nice. I'm so sorry if this isn't coming up very well on camera. There, that's a nice shot to show you. Some of the tops of the leaves are slightly dog-eared, I would say. I think that's just from postage. Maybe they've had a rough ride, I'm not sure. But the rest of the plant is completely intact. It's very healthy. The chunkiness on the stems are just, I mean, pretty substantial, I've got to say. This is a massive, massive pot. I cannot remember the size of the pot this is in. I will write on the pot the size that it is. Another thing as well, these pots, I know a couple of you asked me on my houseplant tour, or where did you get your pots? If you check my video descriptions for nearly every video I do, there should be a link to all kinds of things I use, like the pots that I use, the probe that I use, the humidifiers I use. So if you're curious about any of that, just check the description and it should be in there for you. Just on a permanent basis. It's very big. Oh, we didn't do a head test. Oh my God. We did not do a head test. Right, which one's the easiest? Right, we'll try and do a head test. It's really, really difficult with this plant. I don't want to get soil everywhere, but there you go. It's big. It's uh, it's not screwing around, especially compared to this one. That is, you know, it's not, to be honest, I wouldn't even call that that small, but this one is a monster. I do anticipate with time that, you know, these will fall and fan out and become more of a star shape, whereas right now it's fluted just because that's how it was mailed. So I do expect the shape to change a little bit. It has relaxed somewhat since I got it. So it's, uh, it's, it's learning to chill, but that's very, very pretty variegated philodendron moonlight. So lovely. I shall put this Oh, you know what? There's a gap for that. Will it work there? Oh, yes! Yes! So the next plant has been on my more updated wish list for some time, so I'm very, very excited about that. I can't believe I have it. And that is the Monstera Sandaliana Variegata. Albo Variegata. My apologies. Albo, by the way, means white. Alba usually means yellow. So if something is such and such Alba variegata, it's normally got yellow variegation, like a Florida beauty. Or if something has white variegation, like the Monstera Albo Bozigiana, the variegated monster that everyone knows and loves, then it's called Albo. But enough of me talking. Let's see if I can show you the variegation. Look. I have kind of supported this. I know it probably does need some sort of like moss pull, but I haven't, you know, I'm not there yet. I've been extremely busy. I've still got to find some sort of pull for my, um, what's it called, Dubai. -er. So I need to get on that as soon as possible. But look, hell yeah. Get that leaf there as well. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous plant. As I say, this has been on my wish list for a little while. It may not look like a Monstera, but this is a Monstera and it's, oh. My God. It does have a couple of leaves that have been curling. They were curling when I got them in the mail a little bit. So I'm not sure if it's just recovering from what I like to call transit shock, which is basically just the shock of being in the mail for however, you know, however much time. So I will keep an eye on these, but I'm a bit worried. I don't necessarily want to water it yet because I don't think it needs it. It's the, the potting mix I use is reasonably moist, but I will probably probe it and see, but I don't know. It might just be stressed, guys. You know, these things happen. 
but I will keep you guys updated on that. You'll probably see that on Instagram maybe the following Monday from this Friday. I don't know, um, but it's, it's lush. This is just great. This is one of my new favorites. Oh my God. And then it's in its little mini pot with its drip tray, which is also very good as well. I don't know if I can get this in frame. Oh, I could, I could put it there. So that was my Monstera, Sandaliana, Albo, Varigata. These names are getting really, really difficult. <laughs> Honestly, they are. I'm not the best with plant names, but Jesus Christ. Right, the last one is my favorite. This excites me on a level you cannot understand, okay? I've wanted this for a little while. I've known about this before I did the rare plant index on these types of plants, shall we say? So I, I was aware that this existed and I've wanted it for a long time. There is kind of like a sister plant to this that I also want, which I am looking for. Ah, oh, this is the wait for it just wait for it this is the anthurium vitarifolium this is a hanging anthurium and its leaves can we just take a second okay its leaves literally starting from here i don't know if my arms are long enough yeah they are like what? I'm trying my best to actually show you the length of this guy. This is the coolest thing. Like, I, obviously, we will do a head test. And, uh, well, needless to say, I don't even know. You know what? We're going to upgrade, all right? We thought head tests were a new thing. No, no, my friend. We're going to do a torso test. Give me a moment, because I am not situated and I am not wearing good pants for this. But I may be in gym pants. Please don't mind my, uh, my wonderful lav mic. But starting from my shoulder, that's actually how long it is. It's not messing around. <laughs> Hang on, let me sit back down. So yeah, this, this is pretty special to me. I did do a rare plant index on Anthurium a couple of weeks ago, I think. And I did feature this plant. And uh, if you want to see that, I will link that below. Let me attempt, and I mean attempt to show you. Okay, so it's in a mixture of uh, quar and sphagnum moss. I have actually lined it more or less with moss on the top. The root system was so tuberous on this, it barely fits into this pot, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to repot it again and get a more applicable pot because this actually is not applicable, but whatever. Um, so that's the pot it's in. And if I can just try my best. Uh, that's too difficult. That's actually too difficult to do. <laughs> it's well good. I'm sorry guys, that the close-ups on that are really, really difficult. I really do apologize. That's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, Anthurium Vitari Folium. I am so blessed to have this. If you'd like to see any updates on these plants and follow their growth, then please feel free to follow me on Instagram at Let's Wet My Plants. I don't know what I was thinking of when I created that. I just thought it was a funny joke and now we're stuck with it. So that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, but please feel free to follow me on that. And if you like this video, please leave a like. It really, really helps. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, any more of these plants, any more of my craziness, then please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of our little community that we have here. We're growing. It's wonderful. I love all of you guys. I love speaking to you guys. So please think about hitting that subscribe button. And I guess that's it, guys. Now, in light of a certain video last week that you guys seem to enjoy very much, I'm going to change this up a little bit. So thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And until then... Roll the plant porn. Pornography. But plants. So it's not actually pornography, but play the play the porn. Bye.